Here is my attempt to teach welders how to make their own welder milk. Okay, we're just gonna get right into it because you know we're we're not bullcrap. I'm not gonna cuss. I was about to say something bad, but I want to send this to uh, to my weld school that I went to and help some of the guys out going through school. So I want to make it clean. <laughs> All right, we have a 14 pin industrial connector. Okay, Amazon thirteen dollars. Okay, you have <clears throat> if you're looking at it like this, you got this up here, right? C, D, and E are these three right here. Okay, C is 12 volt, or I'm sorry, 10 volt power from the machine. We plug this in, it's got terminals in there. One of those gives off 10 volts. Okay, D, that is your uh, common ground. Okay, this is the ground lead of this plug. And E, okay, E, all lettered on here, can't mess it up. That's going to be your signal wire, okay? And I have these as such. C is black, because on a plug in your house, a black wire is a power wire. A, uh, a white plug, a white lead in your house is a ground, okay? I have that set to my, uh, I'm sorry, neutral. So I have that set as, as my switch as my signal wire, um, which is on D. D is green, C, black, D, green, E, white. White is your signal wire, E is your signal wire. Okay, I think you got it. You're gonna wire that up, C, D, E, C, black, D, green, E, white, boom. You're gonna go get some of these connectors off of Amazon, Home Depot, Menards, wherever you go. And you're going to wire it up just exactly how this plug is meant to be wired up. Black, white, green. Just how you would in your house or if you were redoing a plug, wire it that way. That way, when you have 200 feet of this crap running, you're not, there's no, there's no, there's no guessing which wire is going where. You know where it is all the way through your lead. It's black all the way through, green all the way through, white, not not green to black to all these other colors and your lead all switched around. Just make it simple for yourself. White, black, green, white, black, green. Easy, it says on the plug, you cannot mess that up. You're gonna go to Menards, you're gonna pick up some 16 by three um, extension cord. And I got mine in blue because most extension cord on a job site are not blue. You know, I've yet to see one ever ever i've never seen i mean okay maybe once but they were like cheap cheap you know in these settings you're gonna find normally like normal extension cords like yellow or orange you know industrial extension cords you're not gonna see these kinds of extension cords just running all over the place okay so i got blue that way i know this is mine you know blue to me kind of represents a remote in a way uh what i did and i also got black matches miller looks all nice all right you're going to get this other plug and put it on hold up you're gonna make sure that you wire this the the machine side machine side this is what it's going to be on the end you're gonna have the male end of the plug on the machine side for safety that way no grinders can get plugged into this Okay, no grinders can get plugged into this. No one can mess your machine up. No one can unplug your crap and start using it as theirs and thinking that they're doing good when you're up in the rack welding and you have your machine set to 200 amps and they unplug it. Well, now your machine's set to 200 amps because they unplugged it. There's no sense. It's not sensing your remote. And that's where you have your machine set. So that's why you do that. <clears throat> you have this end. Obviously, it's got to be able to plug into the other end. So here's the female end on the remote side. Get your 16 by 3 extension cord. Get it all ready to go. Wire it up same way. Same exact way. Do not play games with this. Don't, do not play games. Okay? If you want to play games, this is not the field for you. Don't be a welder. Uh, you're going to go get a cable gland. Okay? Nine bucks for like 10 or 20 of them on Amazon is what I did. And it's nice. I mean, look at that. It's nice. Looks really nice. You know, waterproof. Oh, this is whole. A whole thing's waterproof. No water's getting in this thing. Um, you're gonna get a box. This is a 
3.25 by 3.27 black box ABS plastic box off Amazon. Not metal, you know, who cares? Um, you got that? You're going to get your wires out. You're going to get your wires running through that. You're going to put it through your cable clamp. You're going to drill your holes. You're going to get, you know, make it nice. Don't just start drilling holes wherever. You're a freaking fabricator. You're a welder. Use your measuring tape. Get that thing centered up. Make it look like someone else, like you bought it from a professional. Because that's what we are. We're professional. <clears throat> I'm going to open this thing up for you. <laughs> Got Fortnite going. All right. So, this is what the inside of the box looks like. I know, it's complicated. This is this is totally worth $2,000 to $1,000, whatever they're charging for these Miller RCH14 remotes. And the only thing, the only difference between this and a Miller remote is this doesn't have a GF, GFI on the side. So you can have power wherever you're at, wherever your remote is. Which maybe in the future I'll get a 15, uh, <clears throat> like a... 16 by 5 or something i don't even know if they make that but a, a cable with more leads and put a bigger box with the gfi on the side but i don't think i'll ever need that <clears throat> you're gonna go on granger's website granger is a industrial supplier okay i mean you can get a whole bunch of welding equipment from them but they also sell pots potentiometers okay this is a really nice one it's got a sticker got a sticker it looks like i bought this i mean look at it. it it looks like i bought it okay looks clean just go get this one because i bought the amazon potentiometers and they didn't work i had to send it back to get my money back without a weld remote walking 300 feet around a building <clears throat> down three flights of stairs probably more than 300 feet probably more like 500 feet to turn my machine up you know to turn my machine up 10 amps, I'm going to walk that much? No. Uh, you're going to get the pot. It's a 5K ohm. 5K ohm potentiometer. Okay. Uh, it um, It's rated for 2 watts. Okay, that's what it has to be rated. You can go bigger. I wouldn't go over 5K ohms because I used a 10K ohm one and I didn't get full range on my potentiometer from 60% to about 100%, I wouldn't get a reading, it would be maxed out. Changed it to this one, because I was done with the the Chinese crap, no no offense to anybody, but this China electronics just didn't do me good. Bought American, and um, it works great. You know, works great. Literally didn't go down one time today to turn my machine up. I'm on Schedule 10 stainless on different diameters of pipe from six inch to 12. Okay, so got to change my settings just a little bit. Not worth it to walk 300, 400 feet for 10 amps, especially on a root pass. Like, you want that root to go in real nice. You want your amperage correct. You don't want to have too much amp amperage to start blowing the, the walls away. You don't want too little for lack of little penetration. So build your remote, right? Build you a remote. Just like this, just like the way I'm saying. Got your potentiometer. You're looking at it right now. You are looking at it. You are looking at it when you ha when you get it in front of you this is what you're gonna see just like this what did i say black was power power ground power ground on the outside okay make sure you have these correct on your potentiometer you'll have a schematic with the potentiometer if you buy this one it will say speed low and speed high okay it'll have a orange and white wire a speed low is your ground speed high is your power okay or if you buy it off amazon you buy some piece of crap off amazon because you think you're going to beat the game or whatever it is and save some money even though you're saving hundreds of thousands of dollars right now um you want to look at which one of these go to which because if you do not have them correct you're gonna have your pot reversed okay this will be 10 will be one and one will be 10 okay just do it right white Okay, like I said, white is your signal wire. Okay, usually on reciprocals. God damn, Dexter, my dog. <laughs> white will be your signal wire. Okay, that is usually neutral on your plug. 
on your plug that is neutral okay black is your power white is your signal or neutral wire and your green wire is your ground just like how in real life it is it's not different from wiring up a home plug at your house okay green i'll say it again green ground black power white signal okay drill your holes make it all nice put it all together and you'll have a weld remote okay you'll have a weld remote that works fully completely you know and it looks very nice i mean look at that would you would you tell i built that no you wouldn't have no you would have thought i spent a thousand dollars on this thing when really i'm in it probably without the extension cord probably 40 bucks 50 bucks so extension cord 60 bucks for 200 feet so you're in a hundred dollars for a weld remote that's way better than what's going on out here okay they are out here stealing our money so that's my my attempt to help y'all i don't really want to answer questions i feel like i have done a very good job of explaining this thing multiple times over in the last 11 minutes and uh yeah have a good one uh you know lay some beads and i guess if you have questions i'll try to look and answer it but i'm not going to answer questions that i've already talked about okay you're gonna have to watch the video you're gonna have to watch the video you're gonna have to actually do something that takes some effort okay rather than laying beads i know i know we're a bunch of lazy pieces of crap but if you want to walk 400 feet to uh go change your machine don't listen to me then it's that simple all right